What? What? Hi. Ah! Oh my God! Oh! Ah! Yeah! Marx! Marx, you stupid! Marx, you almost gave me a heart attack! Aren't you? Aren't you a little bit young to be having a heart attack? Mm. Bro, just shut your shut, shut your gum gum mouth. You're the bubble gum here. <gasps> Did you just call me? Anyways, what the heck do you want, you stupid clown? Okay, um, I, I don't know how to put this, but uh, and you might you might probably say no, but I was just wondering if I could uh, stay over for a bit. What? Could I stay over for a bit? Like, that shouldn't be hard to understand. Why? Originally, I rented this house. It was a really nice one. It's kind of a mansion, if you think about it. I rented it for some good money, too. Like, the guys that uh, made me rent it were paying me good money to, to take care of the place while they were on vacation. But then I, uh... Yeah, something bad happened. Where, like, there was this group of criminals. They placed the dynamite sticks all around the place. You know, it's one of those uh, people, you know, like, uh, kind of like arsonists. And they kind of blew up the house. And I, I, I had to run. I, I, I could not turn back. I really... So, so you, 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 you need to stay here. Like, yeah, I know. It's, it's, it's a lot to take in. But, like, please... It, it would really mean a lot to me. I I don't wanna I don't wanna go back to me. I I, I don't wanna <laughs> uh, I'll go talk to my dad. Dad? Hi right, gotta be. Give me a moment. You know Marks? What about him? Um he he uh he needs a place to live because he was renting a mansion and actually taking care of it and it burned down and he ran away and now he has no money. And why are you exactly talking? Because he wants to live with us. What? Dad, you, you forgot your bookmark. No. My bookmark can wait. Morning. Well. That was a good intro. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, Max wants to stay with us. Why did he just shake like that? I was nodding. I, I, oh, oh, my I, bad. I want to live with you guys, if that's okay, which also doesn't matter, because I don't care about your opinion. I'm probably going to live in the basement if you say no. We, uh, we, mm. we, we don't have a basement. I'll make one. What? Wow, this floor is actually so dirty that I can, I can literally see the skin flakes on it. I think I can help you with this. Yeah. I can help with. But how do you mean? Mm. Where? What did you Wall off. It looks supposed to work. <laughs> ah, the battery's dead. Well, never fear. I know how to clean this floor. Even without a vacuum. Ask me. How are you going to do it? Forget I asked. Oh yeah, oh yeah, bro. Oh uh, no, my bee needs petting, but I'm bu I'm busy in a boss battle, and I don't want to pause it because I'm, I'm I'm that kind of kid. Oh, thanks, Marks. Yeah, no problem. Oh. It must be one intense boss fight. <laughs> I bet you didn't know I had such hairy arms, huh? Ah, dang it. The rats are out again. I'll handle this. What? Where did you get the BB gun? Wow. Um, Marx has been doing a, a good job. I'm honestly kind of shocked. I never thought I'd live to see the day that he actually does nice things for us. Yeah. It's so weird. He even took out the rats. Whoa. Hi guys. Wow, what the heck? So what are you guys doing? Well, not nothing really. We're just I'm dead inside. 
Okay. Uh, I just came over here to say hi because I noticed Marx was mowing your lawn. Oh, uh, there's a reason for that. Um, uh, you see, I don't really know the most of the story, but I can't be getting dumb. Oh, yeah, 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 sure thing, Papa. Okay, so basically, Marx was taking care of this mansion or house, whatever, and it burned down. And because because bad guys, because the world is collapsing as we speak. Okay. And uh, he ran away and he has no money because I guess the money burned down in the house, so he, he's living here with us now. Did did he make you sign a contract? Uh, what? Did he make you sign a contract by any chance? Uh, actually, yeah. Why you ask? Show me the contract. All right, yeah. There it is. Living contract. By signing this, you agreed to let person in question live with you. Owner sign here, Meta Knight. Person in question sign here, Marks. Dude, you didn't read the fine print. There is no fine print. Oh, oh, really? What is that? Wait, what's that? By signing this, you also give up 99% of everything you own. What? Bro, Marks oh conned you guys. Oh, what? what are we going to do? You have no choice but to go to court. We sue him. Yes, you, you, you sue him. And I, that is a magnificent idea, Magalor. It's what most people do nowadays. I did go to law school when I was young. What about Susie? Oh, she's actually the, a lawyer. Oh, she's actually a... Yeah, she actually completed law school. Can she actually help us in this case? Yeah, sure she can. Let me just, let me just call her up. Hang on. <laughs> Alright, got my super masculine phone. Call that masculine? Shut up. I'm, 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 I'm not that rich, okay? We don't need those sound effects, thank you. Oh, sorry. Hello, Susie, dear, honey, sweetie pie, hun love of my life. Just get to the point already. Um, sorry. Um, we need a favor from you. Uh, you know Kirby and Midnight? They got conned by Marks. They got conned by... Are you busy? No, not at all. You sure? I... Okay, never mind. Yeah, don't worry, it's fine. Oh. Yeah, I'll come help. All right. Meet me at Curry Midnight's house. Okay. All right. Court is now in session, I guess. Why do I want Subway all of a sudden? All right, who the heck is presenting their case first? Well, you see, your royal fat chip loving highness King DDD the second. I simply offered these people a contract which was totally fair and legal, and now they're claiming that I'm a swindler, a conner, a bad person against the law and crap. Okay, I'm actually going to kill you. Look at the fine print at the bottom! Alright, let's see. Oh wow, that actually is unfair. Why, why do you write that, bro? Uh... Not guilty. Are you stupid or something? We haven't even done the plea yet. Objection, your honor. This guy's clearly an imbecile. I kind of, uh, kind of knew that from the beginning. You won't get away with this, Marx. Justice will prevail. Bro, really? <laughs> bro, justice ain't gonna catch me nothing, bro. Like, what What the heck, bro? I can escape justice. I, I escaped federal prison. You can't escape justice, Marx. It's an idea. A belief. But even the most heartfelt beliefs can be corroded over time. Justice is a non-corrosive metal. But metals can be melted down by the heat of revenge. It's revenge and it's best served cold. But it can easily be reheated in the microwave of evil. Well, I think your warranty is about to expire. Maybe I got an extended warranty. Warranties are invalid if you don't use the product for its intended purpose. Order, order. I don't know what is happening. But what I do know is you two need to stop referencing DreamWorks movies. It Mega Mind's a good movie, though. I know, but stop referencing it. Oh. Is this supposed to be helping? Man, I've had it with all this legal guff. I'm gonna start sucking things up. Wait, did he just say what I think he just said? <laughs> it's funny how I didn't actually get anything in my mouth. This is for posting my browsers during the internet.